Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and we have a bit of a fun video for you guys today, so sit back, relax, have some popcorn, and enjoy this one. We are going to look at unique physiques, and when I look at today's roster, the word unique just does not jump out at me. Now don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, I mean no disrespect meant to any of these guys, I'm sure if you took Brendan Curry's physique, put it in any other walk of life, and yeah, yeah, it is definitely a extremely unique physique. But we are comparing these physiques with the current lineups, the, the, the lineups of their time. And when you do that, in my opinion, Andrew Jacked is really the only physique that I can see that it just screams the word unique. I mean, from his different type of conditioning, his midsection, the arms, the the way he is built. Very tall individual as well. It just, it, to me, this is maybe the only extremely unique physique and the, the only case where you could say a current bodybuilder is unique. But that was, uh, that was not always the case. You go back to 1972 and you had Serge Nebre, you had Sergio Oliva, you had Arnold Schwarzenegger, and all of those guys, you know, tall, small midsections, big arms, and I am sure many of you people were waiting for me to just put all three of these guys on this list and saying that they are all unique, and they were in their own certain way, Arnold, huge arms, small midsection, and Sergio Oliva, huge arms, big chest, and small midsection, ditto with Serge Nebre. Maybe a little bit more ripped in the midsection. But my point is, all three of those guys, could you consider them unique when they were all kind of the same? When you take a look at the lineups, a guy like Franco Colombo realistically was probably the most unique out of all of them. So that's the type of physiques that we are looking for today, guys. Not the run-of-the-mill physiques, and obviously Arnold, uh, Serge Nebre, Serge, Sergio Oliva, not run-of-the-mill, but when they were uh, more of the norm, that's not unique. Franco Colombo, he had so much densely packed muscle put on such a tiny frame. I mean, the guy was, what, five feet four inches? And he was just so loaded with muscle. Now, there's a reason for that. His genetics were not as good as the other guys, and I made a video about that, and I get a lot of criticism on that. Hey, that's a compliment to Franco, that he was able to push through the workouts more so than the other guys. He was lifting more weights than all of the other guys. I mean, he was he was stronger than Arnold Schwarzenegger, for goodness sakes, in most of those lifts, if not all of the lifts. And your ending result was a, a guy that stuck out in a lineup in terms of back development i mean the back on franco colombo was out of this world so in my opinion franco colombo he is definitely one of if not the most unique physiques in the history of bodybuilding and we're kind of all over the place with this video here's john grimmick now this was a i guess you could call a franco uh, colombo type physique and Clarence Ross, another quote-unquote run-of-the-mill bodybuilder. And these guys were back in the 1940s. Now, I guess Franco's would be less unique at that time. Now, Steve Reeves, there was a unique physique. He hit the scene in the 40s. And unlike anybody else, his structure... I mean, the guy looked like an alien. He looked like an alien compared to anybody else. And when it comes to unique body parts, things of that nature. You could see any any picture of this guy or any part of his physique, his midsection, his chest, things of that nature. And you know, right out of the shoot, there's Steve Reeves. He is that unique. Here is Freddie Ortiz. And every chance I get, I, I like displaying this guy on these videos. Look at the bicep. This bicep alone makes this guy stand out head and shoulders above all else. He competed a little bit after Reeves' time, so a little bit more advancements in uh, extracurricular uh, foods, things of that nature, wink, wink. Look at the, the, the bicep ratio with the midsection. 
I think this may be the, the closest that I've ever seen a bicep or an arm be as close to the same size as a guy's midsection. Now I know, many of you at home are thinking, but Mark's Max Muscle, look at Brian Buchanan, his midsection was probably smaller than his arms. You're probably right on that one. And in terms of being unique, Brian Buchanan, I mean, you could take the entire roster of the whole, the whole history of the IFBB. And nobody, I can't imagine anybody, would have an arm that big with a midsection quite so small. This guy screams unique. So, Brian Buchanan, this is more than a mention. This is a... A legitimate announcement that Brian Buchanan has one of the most unique physiques of all time. And like I said, guys, we're jumping everywhere. We're jumping everywhere. Here's the 1990s. And Paul Dillett, in my opinion, had the most unique physique of that time. And many of you are probably also thinking... Why? Because he was massive, and he was conditioned. There was Dorian Yates, there was Nasser al Sambadi. Yeah, there was those guys. But Paul Dillett had something different. He had something much more, yes, unique. Look at that little tiny midsection. I mean, the other guys didn't have that. He also had a set of strided glutes, and a back that didn't quite match. And just unbelievably massive balloon-like delts from behind. I mean, that, that was something else. That was something else. And that alone makes this guy's physique extremely unique. So yeah, Paul Dillette, probably the most. And I, I know, I know, Mark's Max Muscle, you got this one all wrong. There is Lee Labrada, he was much more unique. Okay, Lee Labrada, he was incredible. He was very aesthetically pleasing. He also carried a lot of mass. Does that ring a bell? Is there anybody else that meets that criteria? Sean Ray, Flex Wheeler, for instance? You can't confuse being extremely incredible with being unique. And another guy here, this was uh, Charles Claremont. Much like the other three guys that I mentioned, he was loaded with mass, aesthetics as well. Thierry Pastel, for those of you who are waiting for me to mention Thierry Pastel, was he unique when there was Sean Rays, there was Lee, Lee Labrados? In my opinion, guys, Paul Dillette from the 90s, he stands head and shoulders above all else in uh, having a unique physique. And when you get into the 2000s, trying to find a unique physique, it gets harder and harder. Gunter, yeah, yeah, he was a little bit different than the norm. So was Lee Priest there, Mike. Definitely a unique physique, and uh, speaking a unique personality-wise, they don't get much different than uh, Lee Priest. Here he is, checking the nails. That's right, checking the nails, checking the nails. Made them a nice bright blue to match me tights. Here, here in 2009, there was Branch Warren, and he is most certainly unique. Most certainly unique. Some would say different. I mean, the level of conditioning, less in the way of aesthetics, I think. But in, in my opinion, I think Kai Green. If you look at all of the, you know, the entire roster of that time, I think Kai Green is easily the most distinguishable, the most uh, easily, easily uh, able to be spotted. You know, if you show the just a piece of their physique, you can say, okay, that's Kai Green. Show his arm, back, anything. He is probably the most unique bodybuilder of that time and obviously guys like it began the video off by saying the, the more modern you get into the into the lineups the less and less the word unique is used uh, to describe these physiques but this video would not be complete without mentioning cedric mcmillan i mean this guy from the way he acted the way he posed he was different he was different. Definitely showed on that stage. I mean, this guy was so unique. He definitely is worth to uh, to mention. And yeah, Cedric McMillan, one of the good guys. We are going to finish off with a little bit of a treat. This guy here, as you can see, the guy on your left, 
is, in my opinion, the most unique physique out of the entire history of bodybuilding. And I'm giving you guys this picture as an example of just why he is so unique. I can almost guarantee you that, oh my goodness, the percentage of you guys that know who this is, it's Tom Platt. Now, does anybody know who the other guy is? Is it Samir Banu? Is it Mike Micah Menzer? Who, who, who is it? Who is it? Hey, well, it's Casey Viator. But you can see my point. You know what I'm saying? Sing. Tom Platt is so recognizable that he has, hands down, in my opinion, the most unique physique in the history of bodybuilding. Look at those quads. Look at the undercarriage. I mean, those wheels, they're like monster truck tires. And keep in mind, this guy was competing back in the early 80s. My goodness. And he, who put this picture in here? It was sitting in a bathtub, meow, smoking a cigarette, meow, Edward G. Robinson, meow. But anyway, he was a unique, a unique personality as well. And it wasn't just his big undercarriage, he had an incredible back as well. But I mean, this is not a critique of his physique. This is to show you guys that he was, in fact, so recognizable. And he did, in fact, have the most unique physique of all time, I mean, nowadays, they don't have feathering that thick. I mean, that was corduroy, corduroy. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like I began saying, Andrew Jacked, he goes against the grain. And I like that. I like that. Continue on that path, Andrew Jacked. You might not win the Olympia title, but hey, you, you just might. You just might. You're going to win a lot of fans as well. Go against the grain, guys, and I guess that's what this video is all about. Yeah, Tom Platts. Anybody got somebody better than Tom Platts? Most unique physique? Sergio Oliva, I mentioned. Him and Arnold and Sam Schoenabray, they're somewhat similar, so I wouldn't call that unique. Anyway, hit thumbs up. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a great one.